All right, this is how if you have more than one phone and you want to share the Live View or the Lorex Home app between the two phones. You'll obviously want to go ahead and set up your first phone, um, which I've kind of discussed in another video. But for the second phone, you want to go ahead and install the Lorex Home app then you want to set up a new account. Do not use the same account that you used to set it up. Um, use a different email address and just a whole different account. And once you do that, it's going to email you a confirmation code and you enter the code and then you'll get to this screen with no devices. Um, once you get to this screen, you will need to go to the other phone uh, that has the Lorex home app on it go into settings and add this phone and I will show you that now alright so once you have set up your secondary phone uh, that you want to view the DVR on you need to come back to your primary one the one you originally installed the uh, Lorex home app on and then go into settings and then go to share device so now and click the plus to add it. So I'm going to add my All right, there we go. And you heard on my other phone it just activated the Lorex home app so let's switch back over there okay almost as soon as I pressed share the device the DVR showed up over here this is on the secondary device so I can go to live view or I can go to alarms now here's a little bit of a catch with this um, the primary um, phone has the ability to delete these so I can view them on this phone uh, provided the other phone hasn't deleted them yet now once I delete them on the primary phone they will be gone off of this one so uh, other than that you do have the ability Sorry for my finger being in the way here all the time. Uh, you do have the ability to go into the timeline of these phones. So um, you do have the ability to look forwards and backwards through time, I think. Let's see if it's ever going to actually let me do that. Um, yeah, it is. So, and you can even see the yellow uh, motion alerts and everything in it. So you have the ability to do that. And so, the, really the only thing lacking is the ability to delete the, um, the motion alerts that get pushed. And, it, let's say, in the case of um, my wife, she did not want the uh, push notifications coming to her phone every single time. So, um, we, I disabled the, uh, the push notifications. You can turn them off or, or whatever you want to do with that. But anyway... That's how you share one device with more than one phone. Um, I, I think there's a limit to how many can access it at one time. But if you have two, three, four phones, you will need to set up two or three, four accounts to add them to that shared list.